Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip is going to be how to make these kind of color bursty ray things in Illustrator really quickly. Uh, I know a lot of times these kind of symmetrical geometric things are hard to produce quickly, but here's a real quick way to go about making those in Illustrator that I use all the time because uh, I really like doing those color bursty things in various ways. But all you have to do is just grab uh, the rectangle tool and draw it out. And I'm just going to use, I usually use black just so it's very clear what I'm doing. Uh, and then I color it once I'm done. And then once you have your rectangle, just grab the corner points of one side. And I'm going to grab the top here, the top one here with the white arrow. Tap it down and make sure you remember how many times. So I did seven there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I have my ray um, and you can make your ray however whatever shape you want uh, you can also use the warp um, if you do effect warp and use this to you know bend your thing or use um, considering it's sideways which one would be the one you know whatever one you want to shape your ray like if you wanted to make a really wonky weird one like that that's fine too whatever just make your the shape that you want for your um, starburst and then once you have one beam of it uh, just do copy and paste and okay copy and paste and rotate it around so that you have uh, two two of them side by side and if they're not aligned just use the align palette to center them and then once you have those just group them so that they act as a single entity and then you can do effect distort and transform transform and then just check preview over here so you can see what it's doing um, and if you set the number of copies I'm just gonna set my copies to 10 and then pick an angle like say 15 degrees you can see that it's going to rotate that about the center point by 15 degrees and 10 copies wasn't enough so if I do 11, 12 and you can see you can also tap up and down to see how many um, to adjust the number of copies so I can just go around and it's like okay that's not enough maybe I want to do something really tight like what if I did 8 degrees you can do a real tight burst like that um, and generally you want to use numbers that are divisible evenly um, 360 is divisible evenly by it because if you don't like with eight degrees when it gets back to the point of origin they're going to overlap so like if I did 36 degrees that obviously is going to produce an, an even number or 12 you know numbers like that and then once you've done that you've got your burst like this just do object expand appearance and then I usually just combine them and then once you have this object you can very easily you know throw a radial gradient in it do anything with it really um, and use this in your design you've very quickly made a symmetrical uh, starburst effect which can be used in any number of things but uh, that's the tip if you have any questions shoot them to me on Facebook YouTube Twitter whatever and hope it was helpful